New season hype currently on a five game win streak going to jump into the arena with my favorite and one of the top bait decks inside of the game. Also, thank you to all of those who joined the live stream yesterday. It was popping off. Let's jump into it. He goes e barb so let's go here we're gonna get a dark goblin down as well we should be able to hold that down and he goes e giant okay so let's go in with this he's probably gonna go hog rider yep there we go let's go ahead and get this down now he's gonna go real heavy with that here is the activity log one two three four did some 2v2 that is five and we ended with a loss in 2v2 let me know in the comments if you guys actually play 2v2 i've been playing a little more lately already unlocked the new tower skin as well here is the deck and let's get ourselves some dubs all right all right let's see what our starting rotation is again you really don't have a bad one let's just go ahead and get the barrel down and see how our opponent defends okay so one thing that is difficult about this i will say is fog rider when you don't have the inferno tower in cycle already uh in that case i did not so what we're gonna do is get a little aggressive here and i'm gonna go in with the ability right so he's got level 16 bats there which is kind of interesting and a dark goblin you should be able to get some work done okay so we've got to be a little careful here though i will probably actually we're not gonna well now i am i'm definitely gonna log that my goodness man that should be some serious value gonna go ahead and go in here with this if he goes hog rider i will go in with the guards but he was so aggressive and he has to go in with that so we're gonna four elixir on that going dark goblin my opponent's gonna go hog rider here Look how we 563 already, right? I'm telling you, this deck is nasty, especially with aggressive opponents like this. I'm going to slow roll Golden Fabio here in the back. He goes in with the Inferno Tower. Interesting play. I think what I might do is pressure opposite lane here. Let's see. He's probably got like Mega Knight or something like that. We'll see. He's got... Okay, so he has bats there. He goes in with the Dark Goblin. We're going to just split the guards. And then we he's probably going to go Hog Rider. Yep, he does. And then we're just going to go here with this. Now, that's actually... a pretty solid play so we're gonna have to go here uh but we'll be fine guys he's gonna get some work done for sure i think what we're gonna wind up doing here is putting a lot of pressure not only on the other side oh he goes fireball then i gotta go in here the guards are gonna connect too he's not using that fireball correctly those bats we're gonna get some damage for sure to the point that we take the tower now all we have to do is defend he's gonna get super aggressive now too so I got to keep the pressure up opposite lane in case this goes to a 2-1. I'm going to do that now. Make him use a 5 elixir. No, E-barbs. Okay, let's go here with this. And then we're just going to go ahead and log this back. And then I'm going to go and get ready for the Royal Delivery here soon, I think. He's probably going to come close to taking that with the Hog Rider. Actually, here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to go in right now, and we're just going to let him take that tower. He's going to have to commit a lot of elixir here. Not sure. He goes fireball, so this actually should work out pretty well for us. And this is why I wanted to go to a 2-1 type of a mentality. We're going to go Golden Fabio here. He's running the E-Barbs. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Okay, he goes E-Barbs back there. So what we're going to do is something kind of like this. I don't want to go ability quite yet, but I will now because he went ahead and did that. We're going to get the Dark Goblin down as well. I'm going to go ahead and try to put a little bit of pressure here. We're going to go in with the Royal Delivery. He's going in with the Bats. And a boom. Perfect. We're going to go here with this. And now I'm going to get pretty aggressive. Boom. He gets a little bit of damage there. We're going to let this actually happen. If he goes Inferno Tower, it's going to be really expensive for him. So that's perfect for us. Should be able to cut that thing down. Let's go in back here with the Barrel. He's going to go Fireball probably. But I'm going to try to really apply pressure. He goes Fireball, like I said. Dark Goblin should connect, and it does. Golden Fabio will. I got to go Dash here, which kind of stinks a little. Boom, boom, boom. We're going to go Guards. He's probably going to go Hog Rider. No, he's not. Okay, so let's do this. Now, oh, that was a terrible, terrible Inferno Tower. I panicked because the Guards were holding it down. I'm going to go in with this. We'll go here. Keep the pressure up. We should be good to go. Ladies and gentlemen, have a nice day. Got a little close there, but we got the dub. GG's and peace out. All right, jumping back in. If I didn't mention this before, if you don't have Golden Fabio or not level 14, you can opt into Valkyrie for sure. And Hog Rider, again, if I didn't say this before, is sometimes a difficult matchup if you don't have the right rotation in cycle. Okay, so we're probably facing Bo. Okay, nope. Uh, speaking of, let's just go and go here. He went really aggressive with that. The Lumberjack and, oh, he goes in with the Zap too. I'm going to be okay with this because we're going to go in pretty heavy here. Not only because he went Zap, right? I think this is the smart play. Let's see what he does here. He goes Executioner, but it's going to lock on to... Okay, that's perfect. He didn't quite time that correctly, so that's good for us. Now, we got to play this one nice and smart. Probably going to go in with something in front of this Executioner. Just got to get ready for the Royal Delivery. And we'll drop it right about here. And he goes E-Giant. Okay, so let's go in with this. And then we're going to get... 
Uh, let's see, let's see. Let's go ahead and get the Inferno Dragon a bit high because the Electro Giant will connect and get a lot of damage there. And I obviously didn't want him to reset the Inferno Tower. I do have to reset here. I don't want to go too, too aggressive. He has his Hog Rider back in cycle. Goes Lumberjack. So what I think I'm going to do is go in with Golden Fabio here. He's probably running Balloon or something like that. Oh, he goes Bats. Okay, so let's go in with the Dark Alvin. I want to push opposite lane. I'm assuming he's going to go Hog Rider. And then what we're going to... Yep, yeah, I knew it. I knew it. So let's go here. And then we're going to go Ability. And let's see what we got here. He's going to get some work done, but I think we're going to connect. Let's go, guys. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, so Golden Fabio connects. Get some Dark Goblin damage. Not worried about these goblins at all. So he's probably going to just drop E-Giant at the bridge. And if that's the case, we just have to save the Inferno Tower. But I will apply pressure with the Skeleton Barrel. We're going to do that now, especially with the fact that he went Executioner. He might sack this tower, but he does have his Zap back in cycle. Okay, so he does go in with the Zap. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go here with this. And then we're going to go ahead and do this. Boom. And I'll get this down. And let's see what we got here. We're going to get Golden Fabio down. I hate that I have to do it. Uh, we'll see if he decides to go in with Hog Rider. I don't know if he will, but I'm going to apply pressure over here. Okay, he goes in with a Lumberjack, which is kind of an interesting play, actually. I didn't think he was going to do that. I'm going to go Ability here. Boom, boom. We should be able to take that out. I do have to go in with this here on the Lumberjack, so we're good. He's probably going to go Hog Rider. Yep, there we go. Let's go ahead and get this down. Now he's going to go real heavy with that, so let's see what we got here. So that's actually a pretty decent play. We're going to try to get rid of the Executioner and try to just use the guards to take out as much of this E-Giant as possible. He's going to get a lot of work done, but not good enough. And then we're just going to wait here. We're going to go in with the Inferno Tower. He's probably going to go Hog Rider. It's not going to be enough. Take the E-Giant, broken E-Giant, out of here. Have a nice day. GG's and peace out. All right, it is time to see if we can make this eight in a row. If that doesn't tell you this deck is solid, I don't know what will. We're going to obviously drop the barrel, apply some pressure. Goes Hog Rider. I'm telling you guys, tons and tons of Hog Rider. So this could be 2.6 based on the two cards I just saw. Now, what we're going to do is wait here just a little bit. I want to see if he cycles, uh, obviously, skeletons, Ice Golem, Ice Spirit, things like that, or the Musketeer in the back. Goes. Okay, so this is definitely not that. So I'm going to go Golden Fabio here because I'm assuming he's going to put something. Yep, there we go. We'll go here, and then I'm going to get the guards down. Boom. Royal Delivery, to me, is an underrated spell for sure. Now I'm going to go in with the Dark Goblin here, and he's going to get work done with the Lumberjack, but I'm going to go in with the ability here, and let's see if we can connect. I think that was, oh, well, I think we do. I think we're going to take a lot of that out. I'm hoping Golden Fabio still will be alive we're gonna go ahead and get the barrel down as well he goes firecracker so we should be able to do so much work there with the goblin barrel and he's forced to use a log now i have to be careful here because he might have enough for hog rider i have to let the firecracker do work and that's unfortunate but i have to do it don't even want to try to activate king tower either there we go so let's go in here with this and if he zaps or whatever that's going to be a mistake i hope he does i don't think he will because then we would have been able to put a lot of pressure with the skeleton barrel i don't think he's quite back to his firecracker yet either and again skeleton barrel i really love because you get the impact damage he goes e barb so let's go here we're gonna get a dark goblin down as well we should be able to hold that down he does go in with that dark goblin again will clean that up we're gonna go a little tricky with the barrel because he is back to his log and let's see if we can force that out. Nope, he goes in with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get... Go uh, nope, I'm going to let that go, actually. Because I need to save for the Inferno Tower. If I went Golden Fabio, that would have been a huge mistake for sure. So what I need to do is get Golden Fabio down. And then I just got to get ready for the Hog Rider. So we go here. He goes in with that. We go in with the Royal Delivery. I'm going to keep the pressure up here with the Skeleton Barrel here very soon. Now let's just protect that. Then we go in. I'm going to wait... For, actually, no, I'm not. We're going to go in with this right here. I knew it, guys. Let's go. And the Skeleton Barrel is going to connect. We're going to dash. Come on now. Let's go. And we will be able to defend this without a doubt. Let's go here. It doesn't matter what he puts. E-Barbs does not matter. We have so much great defense. I'm telling you guys, eight in a row with this deck. All right. So it doesn't even matter. We're just going to go ahead and apply some pressure. He goes in with that there. Let's go ahead and just drop the Royal Delivery. Boom, that'll go down. Just got to watch out for the E-Barbs. We'll go here. We're going to go here. He's not going to be able to do anything with that Hog Rider because we will just go ahead and log it back. We will get this dub. Have a nice day. GG's and peace out.
here is the deck one more time i'm telling you eight straight dubs that should tell you a lot about the deck again sub in valkyrie if you don't have golden fabio thank you guys again for all of the continued support until the next video take care and peace out